Hello viewers, hope you are nice and well. I'm your chef Smina and uh, thank you so much for your feedback. The recipe I brought you today is grilled vegetable and grilled fish. I'm going to show you how to make perfect vegetables and perfect fish. So let's get started. Let me um, do the ingredients first and then we go to the recipe, okay? I have two sea bass here. These are all gutted, scaled and clean. All the thin part are gone as well. I was going to show you how to do it, but the fishman did it, so it's okay. <laughs> Next time. I've got rosemary here. I've got some spices here. Spices are some crushed chili, some oregano, some cumin seed, some dry coriander, crushed coriander, and some fennel seed, which is signature flavor in this dish. Okay, I'm going to show you. I have some garlic with the skin and without the skin I need for vegetables and I need for marinate my fish as well so I have some olives I have some capers I've got some oil and I've got salt and pepper I've got some vegetables here which I am going to show you I just want to pick them up and show you I've got some peppers red green yellow i've got some courgettes i've got some red chilies fresh red chilies some lemon cherry tomatoes and i've got some mushrooms i've got one onion here as well red onion so we marinate our vegetables first and then we go to fish when you prepare vegetables for fish um, uh, for grilling you need to wash them first and cut it to the shape you want. Now pepper you need to cut some vegetable you just grill them whole they are perfect when you grill them whole but some vegetable you need to cut and they comes good when you cut them. So for the peppers, you need to cut them. Perfect size. Peppers, mushrooms, asparagus, tomatoes, they get sweeter when they're grilled. These mushrooms, if you grill them whole, it's fine. So I'm gonna put them in my grilling pan I've got one yellow pepper as well it's more sweeter in flavor grilled vegetable is sweet easy to make side very delicious I have in my house at least every week now tomatoes cherry tomatoes you can grill them whole so you don't need to cut them you have more vegetables like corn corn you can grill whole I'm not using corn here today I'm gonna peel my onions now onions you can't grill them whole they won't come perfect so you have to cut them my onions are done I cut my onions to four I'm gonna add them in my vegetables goes into vegetables and now courgette courgette is best to grill if it's in slices or pieces otherwise it won't come perfect so I'm doing my courgette it's all done now all done
I'm gonna add one red chili just to give it a kick entirely up to you if you like hot you can use chili otherwise you can skip I'm gonna add some slices of lemon So guys, my vegetables are all done. I'm gonna make a marinade for my vegetables. Okay, so I've got some garlic here. Garlic I want to use with the skin. I'm gonna make some marinade. I'm gonna use some rosemary. You can use any herb you like tarragon, thyme, oregano. I'm gonna use about a three, three, three tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, some salt, black pepper I'm gonna marinate my vegetables So my oven is preheated. I'm gonna put my vegetables in the grill for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it's nice and tender. So I've got two sea bass here. They are gutted. If you can see, scaled, and all the things are out, tailed. It's very nice and clean. I'm making a marinade. I'm gonna use peel of one lemon, or zest of one lemon. You need only yellow bit. I'm not gonna waste my lemon. I'm gonna use my lemon into my marinade. So best way of squeezing lemon is put your hand underneath. And you can see all the seeds are in my hand and all the juice came out nicely. Same with the other half. If you are making one fish, you need half a lemon. But because I'm using two fish, I need four. So all done. I'm using my capers here. In goes zest of lemon, some rosemary. I've got some spices here, some cumin seed, whole cumin. I'm using about a tablespoon of oregano, some crushed chili for heat, fennel seed, signature flavor in this Mediterranean fish, some crushed cumin seed, uh, crushed coriander, um, sorry, dry crushed coriander. 
I've got about three garlic cloves here. It will reduce the smell of the fish. All done. Okay, I've got some olive oil here, extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna use it in my marinade. I've got some olives here, fresh green olives. Sorry, pickled one. I'm gonna add some salt according to your taste. I'm using about half a teaspoon because capers have salt as well and uh, olive have salt as well. Some black um, peppers crushed. I'm gonna use red chili for the heat. It gives nice heat, it gives heat to the fish and nice color as well. So I like my fish with chilies. You can skip if you don't like chilies. So all my marinade is done. Now all the marinade is going into the fish. So I need some slices of lemon as well. So all the marinade, I'm going to rub it in the cavity of the fish and if you want, you can make diagonal slice, slashes to the fish, about three, both sides, to make it quick, cook quick. All done. I'm going to do the same thing other side as well I'm gonna stuff this inside and rub it outside of the fish as well All done. If you have spare, you can put inside the cavity of the fish. The extra marinade you can just pour on top. The capers. So all my marinade marination is done. Let it rest for 15 minutes or until my vegetables are done. I think my vegetables are done because they are in oven for uh, about 15 to 20 minutes. Let's check and bring them out. Yeah guys, look, my vegetables are done. If you can see, they're brown from outside and tender from inside. And when you cook these mushrooms, peppers, tomatoes and onions in the grill, they become sweeter. So they are perfectly done. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to add my fish into it. So all the flavor from the fish will go into the 
uh, vegetables and I need to cook my fish for about 15 minutes turning from both sides or until it cooks it depends on which type of heat you are using if you are using gas grill it will take about 15 minutes but if you are doing a barbecue it will be a quicker so I'm gonna put my tray back into the oven I think my fish is done let me take it out from the grill in the break I was keep turning it so let me take it out from the um, grill and see see guys it's nicely cooked as you can see it's brown from outside nice and brown and it's it's cooked from inside and still moist that's the beauty of perfect grilled fish now I'm gonna dish it out I'm gonna remove my fish first you should eat fish once a week at least I hope you will try it at home and give me your feedback look perfectly done I'm gonna dish out my vegetables as you can see my vegetables are nicely brown and tender when you grill tomatoes onions mushrooms in the grill they get sweeter I'm gonna dish them out some some um, vegetables like some vegetables like beetroot carrot no good for grilling if you grill them whole so best way is just boil them little bit and then grill them or another way of doing it is cut them in bite side pieces and cover them in the foil foil pockets and grill them and season them as well please. so I'm gonna dish it out look my vegetables they still have nice color they still have shape but they are cooked cooking time depends on what type of what size of vegetable you are using and what type of vegetable you are using and what type of fire you are using to grill them never ever grill your vegetables on low flame your flame should be medium to high big thing how I'm gonna move this done all done so guys my grilled fish perfect grilled fish and perfect vegetables are done I hope you like my show and you will try it and give me your feedback my perfect grilled vegetable and grilled sea bass is ready and uh, I can't wait to try I hope you will like my recipe and you're gonna try it and give me your feedback keep watching TV 99 Zyka word for more healthier recipes I'm your chef Samina Kozar and goodbye for today until next time bye bye